Ever wonder what kind of water you expose yourself and your family to in your home? The water you and your family bathe in, brush your teeth with and live with every day. You would be surprised how many contaminants your tap water contains, but luckily we have a solution. Introducing Max Water's Iron Manganese Whole House System. It can improve your water quality, help protect your plumbing, make your water a lot safer for drinking, extend the life of your appliances, and it can even help get your car even cleaner than it already is. Section 1. Selecting the right thread fitting. Every household has unique plumbing setups, so please ensure you take a moment to assess your pipes and choose the thread fitting that best fits your system. Our inlet and outlet ports are 1 inch in diameter for our 20 by 4.5 and 10 by 4.5 systems. Our inlet and outlet ports are 3 quarter inch in diameter for our 20 by 2.5 and 10 by 2.5 systems. Section 2. Installation Guide. Now, let's proceed with the installation process for your Max Water Whole House Filtration System. Step 1. Mounting the Whole House Filter Bracket. To begin, securely mount the whole house filter bracket at a convenient location while ensuring the system is level for optimal performance. Step 2. Applying Teflon Tape Next, wrap the joint with Teflon Tape 10 to 15 times, adjusting the number of wraps according to the chosen fitting. This provides a tight and reliable seal, preventing any potential leaks. Step 3. Attaching the male adapter now, it's time to attach the male adapter into the system's inlet. Ensure a snug fit to guarantee a secure connection. Step 4. Connecting the pipe. With the male adapter in place, connect the pipe to the system by screwing it tightly onto the adapter. Section 3. Iron Manganese Filter Flushing Instructions. For first-time use, load the sediment filter into the first-stage housing, then load the iron manganese filter in the middle housing. Please make sure to leave the CTO filter outside of the system. Connect the system to your water supply and proceed to open the water mainline valve halfway. Then opening the nearest faucet to flush out all of the red residue. Let it run for five minutes. Then gradually open the mainline valve fully and run for another five minutes. During this process, you can hold down the pressure release buttons to purge any unnecessary air buildup. Once the water from the faucet no longer has a noticeable color and is clear, you can shut off the main line's shut-off valve. Now we can install the CTO filter. Use the housing wrench to loosen the grip, then you may hand loosen the housing. Place the CTO filter inside, and screw back in the housing and tighten it in with the wrench. Open the main line halfway for 5 minutes, keeping the nearest faucet open to flush out the residue coming from the CTO filter. Turn off the faucet, then open the inflowing valves fully, and your system is now fully set up to use for your entire home. If you need to change your filters for new ones, repeat Section 3 to properly flush your filters before regular use. Section 4. Emergency. In case of an emergency, for whatever reason your system requires immediate maintenance, shut off the inlet and outlet valve and open the bypass valve to avoid cutting off your regular tap water supply for your family. Keynotes. Due to the system's nature, expect a slight pressure drop from the iron manganese filter. Monitor your water pressure closely with the pressure gauge to see if there are any drastic changes. Replace filters promptly if gauge readings are abnormally low, indicating clogging or exhaustion of filter media impeding water flow. If a leak occurs at the pressure release button, turn off the water supply, purge excess air by pressing the button and remove the housing. Tighten the screw located beneath the red pressure release button as needed. Congratulations! You have successfully installed your Max Water Whole House Filtration System, bringing the benefits of pure and safe water to every faucet in your home.